so today i'm going to talk about why people should own up their decisions and also the after effects of it you know living in india i spend easily 40 rupees on purchasing water that comes in a plastic water bottle and wherever i look i see so much plastic water bottles it's just amazing even if you go to the most remotest of places the water is turned bad in india and you can't drink it from the tap you need to buy the mineral water or the filter water or you should have the filter water which you can then keep refilling from somewhere when so this is not just india which is buying lot of plastic uh, water or filter water world over everybody is buying bottled water which comes in plastic which does not which will not biodegrade we know this still we continue to use plastic what makes me angry we already have our own garbage to deal with as india and being the world's most populous country we have the most garbage also we also get shipment of garbage from first world countries they are dumping their garbage toxic and non biodegradable garbage in our country if i were to casually ask this question to anybody without any data analysis who is more educated or where is the most educated population in first world country or the third world country without blinking the eye anybody would give the answer of course the first world country being so educated they feel it's perfectly all right to dump their garbage and abuse the third world country these are not just water problems these are also problems of how the disease will begin you know in punjab if you were to drink water straight from the tap one it is yellow in color it has sl- slightly yellowish in color that is how much toxic is there under water underground and if you drink that water regularly you can take it as a guarantee you will get cancer there is a train which runs from punjab and it goes to one hospital i think in bikaner or some hospital in rajasthan city cancer hospital and the train over time the name nobody remembers it's only called the cancer train
बिकॉज एवरीबडी सिटिंग इन दैट ट्रेन और एवरीबडी सिटिंग विद देयर फैमिली मेंबर इन दैट ट्रेन हैज कैंसर एंड इज गोइंग फॉर कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट how did the situation get so bad so at some point three four decades back the administrators said we need to have more food for the growing population and they completely cut down the prices of fertilizers and pesticides and they encouraged the farmer to use more and more pesticide fertilizer to grow exponentially high crop on the limited land farmer is not highly educated does not know the after effects of using the fertilizer and pesticide so much and does as is he told after 3 4 decades with non stop use of pesticides and fertilizers the ground water has gone toxic and now people are getting cancer and india continues to overpopulate and has no handle on how to control the population nobody has figured it out because also children are considered as god's gift when you work with no also people increasingly in india at young age are getting cancer because the stress levels are so high you know once i had a a year or two back i had a massive hair fall massive hair fall today whatever hair i have is probably just um 60% of what is left of what i have already had and i have asked so many people that why did i have such a why am i having so much hair fall and no matter who i spoke to kept saying get your thyroid checked get your thyroid checked before this before the hair fall thing i had put on lot of weight and i said and i told i remember casually just telling someone that i put on weight i'm not losing weight and that person told me get your thyroid checked get your thyroid checked so with this hair fall i got worried and i said let i should get my thyroid checked 
and when I got my thyroid checked, it was perfectly all right. And then I said, might as well just get everything checked, you know, get a full medical checkup done. And everything was perfectly all right. I couldn't figure out how my, how did I have such a massive hair loss. And then I went to one uh, beauty parlor. And while chit-chatting, one lady told me, one lady or a woman came to her and she said she lost a patch of hair right from the center completely gone she's bald there after she took the corona vaccine and i immediately understood my hair fall falls because of corona vaccine because after Two weeks of corona vaccine I had got a massive hair fall and then it stopped after some three weeks of continuous non-stop hair fall where I thought I'm going to completely go bald it stopped Corona would never have gotten that big or this big if this world was sparsely populated. But this world is amazingly overpopulated. So ones who were okay and did not get any Corona also had to take vaccine because the treatment itself of corona is so high but administrator has still not figured out why and what to do with the overpopulation